So today's Friday fix is going to be something close to a lot of golfers' hearts. It's going to be my five top tips to get you breaking 100, not just for the first time, but every time you go out to play. So as ever, Friday Fix sponsored by Players Fuel. Let's get out on the golf course, which is the best place to put these five tips into practice. And I want to hear from you guys after you've watched this video and put them into play, how quickly you were able to break 100 on a regular basis. So the 15th hole at Heron's Reach is a prime example of where a lot of golfers would lose shots. We've got a pond in front, we've got a water hazard down the right and water hazard down the left. Now it's straight back into the wind today and majority of golfers would shape the ball from left to right. So I'm going to aim down the left hand side, but the key here is I've come over to the right hand side of the tee so I can give me a little bit more space to swing into. Now the problem for a lot of guys when they slice the ball is the further left they aim, the more the shape gets worse. And this is where these lost balls, penalty shots are coming in. So all I'm going to focus on is there's a life boy up the left. I'm going to aim my club face at that. And then my only real focus when I swing is trying to get that club face back to where I want the golf ball to set off. Even if my path's a little out to win, that little soft left to right will get me in shape. And if we can keep the ball in play off the tee, that's that first step to breaking 100 every single time. So hopefully after the first tip, you're getting your tee shots in play and that eliminates those lost balls from the tee, which for some of you will already be enough to get you breaking 100. But once you've got the ball in play, the real killer for a lot of golfers is that poor strike when the golf ball's on the floor. So we either see from a good setup position, that cold top that could potentially still get you in trouble, or that big fat that's just the perfect layup to leave yourself almost the same shot. So what we're looking to do is try and get the lowest point of our golf swing ahead of the golf ball so that we hit ball and then turf. And very often for a lot of golfers, actually just looking so slightly looking ahead of the golf ball the can help. Point of our Have that little practice swing first. We want to touch the floor, but it has to be ball then turf. So I just brushed the grass there a couple of inches ahead of the golf ball. Have that same level of focus. And if we can strike the ball well, we're well on our way to breaking 100 every time. Right then, so after those first two tips, that might have already transformed your game. But as we get hitting the ball well off the tee and striking it well off the floor, it really moves into that scoring part of the game. And the kind of short pitches and chip shots are where I see a lot of golfers missing greens because of poor contact. So I'm on the 18th, I'm about 30 yards short of the green, nothing in front of me, and very often what I see is golfers getting their most lofted club out, and the shots we tend to see are either the fat or the thin that was probably still accelerating as it went past the flag. Now, I know a lot of golfers talk about maybe using the seven iron and running it in there, but I still think that that heavy one and that thin one are still very prone with the seven iron. So I changed club completely. Now I've gone for my seven wood, but you could play this with any fairway wood or a hybrid. Now I'm not saying straight away you're gonna get this really close to the flag every time, but I guarantee you'll get this on the green and that again will be saving shots. So we're gonna set up very much like a putt, maybe a little bit more weight on that front foot and then literally just that putting stroke and the fact that the club just gets the ball up on top of the grass and then rolling means that even a poor strike, you're gonna get the ball on the green and have the putter out for your next shot. Just so easy. And it's amazing. It's a shot that you might not know of just yet, but once you play it a few times, tip three, of chipping with your fairway wood or hybrid might just become your favorite shot. Right, so tip four, bunker shots. Now, again, for most golfers, I wouldn't say initially they're actually that bothered about hitting it really close to the flag, but just getting out of the initial bunker so that they're on the putting green 
instantly going to save shots. I know so many golfers that waste a number of shots in the bunker. And I think for most golfers, they're aware they should hit the sand, but they very often, because they're making quite a big swing, they're really worried about how far the ball's going to go. And then as a result, there's no real momentum. The ball might get out like that one, but dribbles back in. So first things first, we're just going to talk about a very simple technique to get the ball out every time. So we're going to move the ball slightly forward in the stance, shuffle those feet into the sand. So we're going to open the club face just to expose that back edge of the club to stop the club digging into the sand. And then keep a little bit of pressure on that front foot. Going to strike maybe two to three inches behind the golf ball but really follow through, make sure lots of momentum there, get the sand out onto the green, and guaranteed you'll be out of the bunker every single time. And if you're out every time, again, comment below, let me know, but I guarantee that's gonna save you shots. Right, so the final tip, tip five in break 100, is eliminate those three putts. I mean, probably the worst two are lost balls and three putts or four putts. And I think where most golfers really struggle, it's not so much the very short ones, but as they get a little further from the hole, they're just not able to judge the distance. And as a result of that, it really leaves them a lot of work to do on their next putt. So I know what you're thinking, how do I get better feel? Well, the great little drill that I use with everybody in putting lessons is to stand and look at the hole and actually just roll it underarm down to the hole. And as a general rule, most golfers will be really good at that. And the thing they'll notice is when they roll the ball, they actually look at the hole, not obviously down at the ground. And yet when we're putting, we spend all our time looking at the ball and therefore the length of swing we're going to use, they're not really sure about. So a great little drill on those longer putts is to set up to the golf ball, just to the side, have your practice strokes looking at the hole. That'll give you a feel for how big a swing you need to make. Once you've got that feel into the ball, one last little look at the hole, back to the ball, and then make that stroke. And even if it doesn't go in, you should have a nice little tap in for that two putt. If you're someone at three putts, that's one shot every green you're gonna save. And if you're somebody who four or five putts, well, the difference is going to be huge for your score. But if you can follow those five tips, would we'll definitely get you under 100 every time you go out to play. Right then, five simple tips there. Get the drives in place, strike the ball solid from the fairway, get the ball on the green every time, first time with chipping and pitching, Get out of the bunker first time every time and let's eliminate those three putts or worse. And if you can put them into play, like I've said a lot in this video, guarantee you're going to break 100 on a regular basis and maybe for some of you, even breaking 90 for the first time. So guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, like it and share it. Comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. As ever, Friday Fix, sponsored by Players Fuel, Golfers CBD products, Little video there for you to check out when I used it, how I found it for the first four weeks that I used the CBD oil. I found it really beneficial. There's a discount code in the description below, but if you've enjoyed the video and you don't subscribe, click the button below, ring the notification bell, then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.